it's a, it's a hard shell, right? Yeah. Ooh, I love that bag. Thank you for coming to the ninth annual Independent Handbag Designer Awards preliminary judging panel. Once again, we got over a thousand applicants, which is super exciting. The bar is set higher every year. Designers kind of get an idea of what was done last year and they want to do something better. And now you have brands like Mary Kay, Bronina, all sponsoring and clamoring to be a part of this great event. Hi, this is Emily calling from the Handbag Awards. How are you? Do you think you might be excited if I was calling to tell you that you were a finalist? Yay! <laughs> That's amazing. I'm so excited. Thank you. 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 Thank The detail on that is just beautiful. And I think the challenge here is really to find something that is a new take on an existing silhouette. I mean, for a handmade bag, they're amazing. As a former handbag awards entrant, to start from an independent designer to where my company's grown to today is, is a big leap and it's a big adventure. And so I hope this is where people can get their start. So one of the judges at the Handbag Award was Lincoln Moore from Saks Fifth Avenue. I was on his radar ever since I won the award. I did get into Saks a couple years later, and I do think that it all had to do with me winning the award and him being present at that time. Because of the IHDA, perhaps I may have got there eventually, but it expedited my, my experience, especially coming to another country, especially working for such a wonderful company as Kelvin Klein. Before the awards, I was doing everything myself, selling the handbags out of a suitcase. Now today, we sell to all the major retailers across the nation. The network and the exposure that the Handbag Awards brought to me is why I'm here today. They have been given a platform they might not have been given had it not been for you and, and this organization, which is great. And it makes tonight that much more important. The exposure of the winners in the magazine is raising the level of the entries. The level every year just keeps getting better and better. It's amazing. Oh it's, oh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful inside. I cover businesses all day long, and every day I think, wow, how did they do that? And I love that they have that sort of, I'm going to go for this attitude. And I think that's what's exciting, and that's what brings, you know, new things to the market, and that's what you need. We're just really excited about finding new talent, mentoring new talent, and seeing what comes from it. If we don't support them, no one else does. The designers that come out of here are phenomenal and they go on to do great things. If you're a handbag designer, you know that you have to be part of this event because this will fast track you. This is the second year we're nominated. Last year we didn't win, but we had a crazy year just by being nominated. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'll end by looking to the future, not only my own, but the very bright light coming from all the new talent in the world. I say go for it and never stop. We've imagined this day ever since we received the phone call. Thank you so much, Emily. I cannot imagine the magnitude of what can be coming. But I feel, yeah, I think it's happening already. What is the difference between when you started me and now, the big difference is you. This is something no one will ever forget, especially these designers. I hope you can all understand what this night does for people. And I'm so happy you're here to share it with all of us. Yeah.